welcome to What We're Enjoying Wednesday, part of Elmhurst Public Library at Home, the library's online program series. Each Wednesday, you'll get videos from our staff talking about what they are reading, watching, listening to, playing, or otherwise enjoying each week. This week, I'm enjoying revisiting my favorite show, Parks and Recreation, because a new episode will be coming out tomorrow on Thursday. Uh, the cast and crew have come back together to make a new episode to support the frontline workers and victims of the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. I'm really looking forward to it. It's our first new episode in years, and we never expected to get this many. Hello. This week, I've been indulging in some comforting favorite old television, Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction. It's an anthology show with Jonathan Frakes, best known as Will Riker on Star Trek's The Next Generation, presenting several outlandish, penny-dreadful stories with delightfully low production values. The conceit is that the audience has to guess if the story is based in reality or if the writer of the show made it up. This is not good TV, but it is fun TV. And since it's available for free, streaming on imdb.com, you don't even have to pay money to watch it. I'm Allison from the Kids Library, and I'd like to share with you a couple of the board games we've been playing during our shelter at home. Our new favorite is a game called Wingspan. This is published by Stonemeyer Games, and in it you are collecting birds that each have a different power, and it allows you to do more and more things on subsequent turns to lead you to victory of having the most diverse conservation. The artwork is gorgeous, the birds are really beautiful, and this has become our new favorite. There are digital copies available on Tabletopia and Steam, and I know that the library does own a copy for circulation once we open up again. One of our other favorites is a game called Dominion. Dominion is a deck building game. Everyone starts with, the, with an identical starter deck of 10 cards, and everyone has, uh, there's a general supply on the table to buy from and you continue buying cards until you work your way to victory. The base set itself has quite a bit of replayability. There are many, many expansions, and uh, this one is available also digitally through dominion.games. Uh, the base set is free, and you can subscribe to expansions. We've been getting a lot of playability out of this game. Hi, it's Karen from Adult Services. I'd like to recommend Dune by Frank Herbert. I've really been enjoying this book. I'm rereading it after about 30 years. Not only have I do I have a totally different take on it, but the world has changed and it reframes the book in a different way. There's a new movie coming out. I really usually like to read the books in advance. But this has been great. It's like Game of Thrones meets Star Wars meets, gosh, every other really great contemporary sci-fi. So if you get a chance, check out Dune. Hi, I'm Brian, and this week I'm binging a couple of web series that have been around for a little while. You might not have seen them yet. The first one's called The Guild, and it's a comedy web series that is in small couple-minute chunks. Uh, it follows an online gaming guild and kind of lampoons aspects of online gaming while portraying sweet kind of unusual characters and the second one is Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog and it's a 45 minute movie that was released during the writer's strike of 2008. It stars Neil Patrick Harris, Nathan Fillion, and Felicia Day and it's about a mad scientist who's trying to, obviously, as all mad scientists are, take over the world. Um, but at the same time, he's pursuing his love interest and being thwarted by the hero, of course. So um, it's really funny, and I think everyone would enjoy it. Hi, my name is Rita. What we've been enjoying at my home this week is courtesy of my husband's youth. We've been reading through the Berenstein Bears series with our preschooler. She's been eating them up. They definitely withstand the test of time. And as an added bonus, we've discovered that Canopy Kids, one of the e-video collections through the library, 
actually has a few episodes of the books. Score. I enjoyed listening to Indigo by Beverly Jenkins, often considered to be one of the best historical romance novels. Hester is a loyal member of the Underground Railroad in pre-Civil War Michigan in the 1850s. Galen is a key conductor of the Underground Railroad, and one night he is wounded and brought to hide and recover at Hester's house. It appears a traitor may have sabotaged Galen's risky work. Listen to Indigo on Overdrive or Hoopla for romance, adventure, and suspense. I've watched Outer Banks on Netflix and McMillions, which is a HBO documentary about the McDonald's monopoly scandal back in the 90s. Using the online audiobook access provided by the Elmhurst Public Library, I listened to Little Women by Louise May Alcott. Little Women is a classic in English literature for a reason. Alcott narrates the four March sisters' path to adulthood, navigating universal struggles still present today. The young woman must overcome grief, find love, and learn to be self-sufficient growing up amidst the 19th century Boston. Each sister's unique personality offers a different perspective to obstacles confronted by the family. This allows readers to identify with the sister. As a listener, it is impossible not to sympathize as the girls struggle and grieve and celebrate their joy. Little Woman is written at time period appropriate to the social norms and gender roles of the 19th century, providing an insight into life and culture 150 years ago. If you have not read Little Woman, I recommend you reading the book before viewing the recently released Sony movie. Hi everyone, I'm Linnea in the Kids Department, and today I wanted to share with you a game I've been playing online called the Wiki Game. You can access it at thewikigame.com, and basically you're given two random subjects and have to go from one to the other via links on Wikipedia. You can compete against other people for how fast you go and how many clicks it takes. It's fun and you learn some new things, so I highly recommend you check it out. Thanks!